hi welcome to another video this is titus ojo if you are new to this channel on this channel we provide you with scholarship information study abroad opportunities all across the world with major focus on north america and europe uh, in this particular video we'll be bringing to you a scholarship in europe the scholarship provides tuitions and provides stipends so if you want to know more details about this scholarship stay till the end uh, as i reveal to you uh, the scholarship information how to apply the deadline dates and all that necessary information that you need to know so if you are new to this channel please and if this is the kind of information you like to get all the time kindly subscribe so that you have opportunity to assess more information on scholarship opportunities across the world and if you are a returning subscriber thank you so much for your support so let's get into the details of this video let's go this is a scholarship in belgium and this is uh in the region called flanders so flanders is a flemish region of belgium is a dutch speaking area in the, uh the northern belgium uh where it, and it's one of the three region in belgium so this is a particular region giving opportunity for international students to come and study in belgium so the this is sponsored by the ministry of education and training awards um, in flemish or in flanders right so uh this gives opportunity for aspiring students all across the world to study in belgium so this scholarship opportunity is for the academic year of 2023 to 2024 and for your information the deadline for this scholarship is april 28 of 2023 so let's get into more details about how to apply eligibility criteria uh the payment uh, for scholarship what um, it covers and other details that you need to know for this scholarship so uh this is sponsored again this is sponsored by the ministry of education and it's um, for master's degree in specific so this is for master's degree and uh, the scholarship is called the mastermind scholarship so the master's degree could be for one year or it could be for two years so uh the grant is for nine thousand six hundred euros plus tuition waiver so it covers your tuition for uh academic year and also gives a grant of 9600 euros so mastermind scholarships order only pay administrative enrollment fees that's the only thing that you have to pay uh if you are given this scholarship so the grant is in installment and it covers accommodations costs insurance and uh, living expenses so that's for the grant and the other side of things is the tuition so those are the necessary information about what it covers so let's go into the participating institution so there are some participating institutions that you need to know because first of all you have to apply to those participating institutions then for you to be eligible for uh, the scholarship so let's check out the participating institutions participating institutions are here they are the universities and also we, they are have other universities at the university of applied sciences and art so you can check out some of their information in terms of also their deadline uh for applications right so uh you need to be conversant with when these institutions will be receiving or their deadline for um, accepting applications for master's degree or for any program uh, at their institution so most of them are still like march end of march and some are in april so you still have some time to apply for this scholarship so uh the ones that are still um they, they have their deadlines in march are still very a good one to apply to so, such as the uh, ghent university uh deadline for application is march 31st 2023 uh they have the asset university uh which is march 15 2023 for the universities of uh, applied sciences and heart uh, there are a lot of them are in march uh ap university of applied sciences and heart that's march 1st which is about 
uh, a week uh, now from at the recording of this video so there are other ones that their deadline is March 17 March 28 that's again University of Applied Sciences and Art and then the KDG University of Applied Sciences and Art that's March 30 so look at the deadline look at the participating university so and look at their programs uh, if they have the program that you're interested in so that you know which school or which institution you're going to be applying to so let's go to the eligibility criteria for this uh, scholarships so on this page they have the eligibility criteria so check out if you are eligible so you must go through the criteria to be able to sh be sure that you can apply to this scholarship so the first one says applicants applies to take up a master's degree program at Flemish higher education institution uh, the uh, applicant should have a high standard of academic performance and all potential right so for instance uh, they have a grade point of 3.5 out of 4 so you have to uh, kind of check with the calculator they have uh, they have the link there check out if you meet that criteria because some international uh, um, students uh, probably have up to uh, five grade points in terms of scale so check out the equivalency of yours uh, to 3.5 out of 4 percent that they have so the next one is student has a good knowledge of english language so definitely that means that the language of communication will be in english that's a plus for most of international students so uh, you must have uh, an overall score of seven point on your higher test a minimum total score of 94 in your tofu uh, also ac1 level of common european framework of reference so majorly it's just test of english language whichever one you have just be sure that you meet the minimum uh, requirement so students uh, who apply for a master's program at the school of arts must have at least so the first one uh, is for the university uh, whereas this particular one is the university of applied sciences and arts so an overall band score of 6.5 which is kind of lower than the first one of seven um, and then check out TOEFL the minimum uh, score required for TOEFL and also other um, test of English so the next criteria is that the host institution must also perform academic check of the students file so student the school you are applying to will also check your academic records uh, the student has to be accepted by the host institution in order to receive application so like I mentioned earlier the very first step is applying to uh, participating university uh, you are only eligible to uh, uh, to get the scholarship once the institution accepts you right once they give you a letter of offer so the next one is applicant can be nominated by one uh, by only one Flemish higher education institution if the applicant is preselected by more than one higher education institution he or she to choose one so what this means is if you apply to uh, many schools for you to increase your chances of being selected and if you are eventually selected by more than one institution it means that you have to go with one of them because you can't go with more than one so you have to decline other offers and select one of them so that is the requirement here all nationality except for russians can apply so if you are not from russia you can apply for these scholarships uh, students who are already enrolled in the Flemish higher education institutions cannot apply so that is clear if you are currently enrolled in Flemish higher education institution you cannot apply so it's just for the new intake so those who are be, who are going to be applying uh, to the university for the 2023-2024 academic calendar year so students who enroll for the following programs for the academic year 2023-2024 are not eligible for mastermind scholarships such so, so as preparatory programs 
bridging programs, distance learning. So if you are a current student or you enroll in those three, you are not eligible for the mastermind scholarships. So the last one is a student mobility to partner institutions outside Flanders and Brussels during the masters is allowed. So that is for that for the uh, requirement. So let's check. Let's learn how you can apply for this scholarship. For how to apply, so on this page we're gonna see uh, the checklist uh, for the application. So if you already know that you meet all the criteria or the eligibility requirement for this scholarship, then the next step is how to apply. So we're gonna go through those steps that you need to take to apply for this scholarship. So I will leave the link to all these pages in the description of this video. Kindly check it out if you know you want to apply to this scholarship. The first one is check if you are eligible and if Flemish institution of your choice participate in the mastermind program. So we've gone through those eligibility and then we've gone through those participating institutions. So once you know that you have gotten a school that has the program of your choice and then you, you've checked all the eligibility requirements and you meet all of them. So the next thing is, let's check step, step two. Submit your application to the host institution, so, which I have mentioned earlier. The first thing is, once you find an institution that has a program of your choice, you send in your application. So the third step is the host institution preselects eligibility application. So once they select your applications being eligible, that's the next thing. The first step is the host institution start the application procedure for the master's mind scholarship by creating your application file in the mobility online application tool. So the mobility online application tool is the common platform that all participating institutions in the mastermind scholarship program will all have access to. So once you apply to an institution and they pre-select your applications, they're going to uh, create your application file in the mobility online application too. So the next one is you receive an email generated by the mobility online to notifying you of being pre-selected for a mastermind scholarship. The next step is you register in the mobility online tool and complete your application file in the mobility online two before the deadline so that means you have to submit all your applications so once a university pre-selects you you get a notification through the mobility online tool and then the next step is you complete the filing of all the necessary documents that is required before the deadline so the next so the documents are passport photo international passport or national id your CV, curriculum vitae, hey, um, transcript of records. Uh, this must be written uh, other than Dutch, French, German, or English. A certified translation must be enclosed. So, if there are none of these languages, there must be a translation. Uh, a certified translation must be included. English test. English language test or letter of exemption provided by host institutions must uh, be but must be here. So you have to check with host institutions. For instance, if your language in your country language or official language, and then you have received your bachelor's degree training in English or work experience in English and all that, you can be able to justify that with the host institution, and they can kind of waive that for you so that you won't be able to write IELTS. You won't need to write IELTS. So if you have a very strong justification, uh, especially if your official language in your country is English, you can be able to uh, get those exemptions from the host institution. So you don't have to do IELTS. So that's, that's a tip for you. Uh, letter of motivation must be included in English. Two signed letter of recommendation from professors of your pro uh, previous institution or where you had your first degree or bachelor's degree. A copy of acquired diplomas in English. So your certificate, copy of your certificate. You have to be it has to be in English. Uh, the next step that's step seven. Uh, 
the host institution validates and submit the completed application file in the mobility online two before the deadline that's 28 april 2023 so the application validator submitted after 28 of april will not be accepted so that is it um that is the information be uh, make sure that you apply on time check out the host institution up submit your application um make sure you submit early because yeah uh, everything has to be validated by the 8 28th of april so that means you must have selected your application uh you uh, uh um sending your application early enough so that you meet this deadline of april 28th i hope this uh particular video has been helpful uh if you like this video if you like this information please kindly like this video the video to get to other people who needs this information and it helps the channels to grow as well please kindly share this information with other people that you know they will need this information uh, subscribe if you have not done so um, and then comment please comment in this comment section if you have questions if you have concerns i will uh, try as much as possible to answer your questions address your concerns because all this will help the channel to grow so that we'll be able to provide you more valid information uh, scholarship information and study abroad opportunities thank you so much uh, thank you for your time and i will see you in the next one